Hello everyone, welcome to Le Cinema and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. So in this video we will be covering starship upgrades and how to maximize your ship's stats so you can have about 45,000 plus damage potential. This is not a cheat, glitch or an exploit, it is an official mechanic in the game. So before we begin, remember to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on how helpful you find it. Also subscribe and hit the bell icon for new updates on No Man's Sky related tutorials. Anyway, enough of that, let's get into the video. So today we will be specifically looking at the fighter class starship setup using the cyclotron and the positron weapon upgrades. So to get started, you are going to need a shit ton of items all listed on the screen here. If you need to pause the video, do so. And you will also need an S-Class Tier 3 fighter. If you do not own an S-Class Tier 3 fighter, don't panic. There will be a collection of fighters with coordinates shown at the end of the video. So for this tutorial, I will be using my own fighter, the Cerberus S38, to demonstrate. When beginning your module upgrades, you want to move them into separate locations based on which kind of module you are using. So, shields pair with shields, hyperdrive pair with hyperdrives, and so on and so forth. When you have four of the same module type, you will pair them so they make a square, as modules acquire an upgrade boost when paired together. You will also install the Emerald Drive, the Indium Drive, and the Cadmium Drive. As having a fighter that can warp into any system is incredibly useful, especially when it comes to freighter battles. Now when it comes to the photon cannon, we're going to move that away and just pretend like it doesn't exist. Because sadly, this weapon is unable to be dismantled. The next thing to install are the efficient thrusters and the launch system recharger. And you will pair these to the launch thrusters. These can be paired in a straight line as there are only three of them. Another useful thing to install is the Economy Scanner. The Economy Scanner is a must-have upgrade for any playthrough. Now in the technology slots you want to install three S-Class shield modules, as well as the Ablative Armor upgrade. This will allow your shields to reach around about 3.3 to 3.4. The first weapon we will be installing is the Cyclotron Ballista. However, it only reaches around 28,000 damage potential. Just like the other upgrade modules, you are going to install these in the shape of a square. The reason they are installed this way is because if you install them as a straight line, you will see noticeable damage decrease. Next we will install the Dyson Pump, as the Dyson Pump is an upgrade for the Cyclotron Ballista. You will then install the S-Class Cyclotron modules around it. This will put us at around about 28,000 damage potential. Now for the leftover slots, what I like to use, I like to install three S-Class Pulse Engine modules and one S-Class Hyperdrive module to pull my hyperdrive range over a thousand. Now that the Cyclotron setup is complete, we are going to go test it out. As you can see, the shields are a real help when fighting Sentinels. Also, the Cyclotron Ballista can easily deal with them as well. Though it is not the best Starship weapon, it is still a beast on the battlefield. Now the second weapon is my personal favourite. It is the Positron Ejector, which we will be replacing the Cyclotron with now. So first things first, I'm going to delete everything to do with the Cyclotron. And now install the Positron Ejector. Same as before, we're going to add the three S-Class modules around it. And then in the technology slots, we're going to install the Fragment Supercharger. And same again, S-Class modules around it. And as you can see, our damage potential has increased to 45,417.1. Now, we can take this further by a thing called re-rolling. If you have a lot of nanite clusters handy, you can re-buy the S-Class Positron modules and then re-roll them like so. Now, the stats for the modules that you are going to want are the 4% plus damage modules. Usually, they only appear in 3%, but if you keep re-rolling them, keep installing them, you can get the 4%, and you want that for every single one. You don't have to do this, it's a bit overkill, but I like to do it because I like to max out my ships. 
I will be doing the same thing for every other module, just not on this video. Now as you can see, my Positron now does 45,931.6 damage. Not a massive increase, but still an increase. Now let's go test this beast out. This weapon easily handles Sentinels. The only downfall is that it is a close range weapon. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to join the Facebook community, the No Man's Sky Interstellar Index, link in the description below, and for those who want coordinates for S-Class Tier 3 fighters, as promised, here they are, so enjoy guys, and thanks for watching.